Hi, I'm Billy of the Fuji guys. Today we're going to unbox a brand new camera from Fuji, the X-T10. This is the body only version of the X-T10 in a silver, but it also comes in a black. There's also different kits available for this camera as well. If you're looking at getting a camera with a lens, you have uh, several different combinations depending on the uh, country that you purchase the camera from and what they offer for you. So today we're going to take a look at the contents of this box as well as getting you started with the camera for the very first time. Let's go ahead and unbox the Fujifilm X-T10. This is the silver version and the body only, so there's no lens included with this particular package. Uh, the content inside the box, you have the warranty information. You have also the owner's manual as well as a software CD. In that software CD, you have uh, all the uh, owner's manual in PDF form in various languages. If, uh, you know, uh, depending on the country that you purchase it from, it will include the one uh, that's appropriate for your region. Opening up the box, going right down to it, we have the brand new X-T10. It's going to unpackage that. And again, you can see it's a very beautiful camera. It's a uh, very similar size to uh, our X-30 cam in terms of dimensions. This is the silver version, but it also comes in the black. Let's look at the uh, other contents that it's included. You have basically the uh, AC plug for the wall, and that's for the uh, battery charger. It comes with the BC-126W battery. It's the same battery charger found in the majority of uh, uh, X uh, mount, X series interchangeable lenses. And depending on the country that you purchase this camera from, it will include the appropriate uh, cable. So as you can see here, this is a North American plug, but if you're in other countries that use a different plug, uh, you it will include the, uh, the appropriate uh, plug for that, okay? You have the rechargeable batteries. It uses the MP126W battery. Again, the same battery found in the majority of the uh, interchangeable lens cameras from Fuji. Um, this one here, again, is um, not fully charged, so you definitely want to charge this at least four to four and a half hours before you use it. Uh, if you need to use the camera right away, you can. Uh, it does have a small charge, okay? You have this clip, little uh, accessories inside here, as you can see. Uh, these are little straps that go onto the side of the camera when you attach the camera straps. And then you have these little uh, metal lugs here that attach to the, uh, to the camera. Then you have this plastic thing, and don't throw it out because it's a useful tool uh, in order to attach the, um, the metal clip, as you can see. It lifts up the, uh, the spacer and you can now slide this uh, into the camera's body. And uh, again, you can see without breaking your fingernails. So I'm just gonna leave that for you guys to do. I'm just gonna take it off for now. Put it aside. Uh, you have the camera strap. It looks like a standard strap that's found on the majority of uh, X-Series cameras. Um, if you obviously don't like this strap, you can also pick up your own uh, third-party strap. But at least it's something that it's included and you can use the camera right away, which is nice. Now, because this is a body-only version, uh, you do have to pick up a lens if you don't already have a Fuji XF or XC lens. And also, you need to buy a memory card because the camera does not include a memory card. Uh, it doesn't even have internal memory, so you won't be able to take any pictures it will let you demo by taking pictures, but it won't store any images. So again, pick up one of these memory cards. It supports SD, SD, HC, and SD, XC cards, uh, even ultra high speed cards. Um, so it goes up to the largest capacity of SD, XC cards that are available. I think it's 128 gigabytes right now, but I'm sure it can go higher. So I'm just going to insert the uh, memory card into the camera like that. And you just push it in. If you want to eject it, you push it and it ejects again and you can take it out. I'm going to push it right back in. You got your batteries. Uh, the batteries itself, you want to match the uh, orange uh, square here on the battery with the orange tab. And you want the contacts to go in towards the camera. So if we do this, it should clip in place and the batteries won't be moving. If you want to eject the batteries, you can just push down on the clip and the batteries kind of come out. Let's close the battery door. And uh, before we turn on the camera, we need a lens. So this obviously doesn't include a lens. Um, the camera, if you're buying it in other uh, kits, there is a kit that comes with a 16 to 50 XC lens. So I'm just going to use this lens for this demo purpose. Again, this lens is not included in this package here. So I'm going to match the uh, orange tab here on the lens with the orange uh, dot there. And then it should clip in place. 
And I'm ready to turn on the camera. So switching on the camera, the on and off switch is right here. I'm going to flip it on. And the camera should turn on. If it's the very first time you turn the camera on, it's going to ask you for some settings like the language and date and time. If you forgot to, and accidentally pushed the button really quick, you can go back into the setup menu by pushing the menu OK, going to the setup screen here, all the way down to 1, and then going in and changing again the date and time and even the languages if you accidentally uh, push the wrong button. Okay, I'm just going to push display back to get out of that. To take a photo with this camera for the very first time, you push the shutter button halfway down to focus, all the way down to take the picture. Some of you just want to take pictures, so you can just push all the way down and we'll do that as well. As you can see there, and uh, what I would do is just obtain focus and shoot. I like to push halfway down to ensure that I am focused properly, and then push down completely to take the photo. Okay. To play back images, you push the playback button, and then you can use your directional pad here to navigate uh, between the different images that you shot. If you wanted to zoom in on an image, um, you could by pushing the command down inwards, and it zooms all the way in and then you can use the, uh, the uh, directional pad to navigate that. If you wanted to zoom out, uh, you can use the command dial to just rotate it and zoom out or zoom back in. And if you want to zoom out completely, just push the display back button like that. Okay. When you are zoomed in, so if you push the command dial to zoom in, you can use the command dial on the front to actually jump to the next picture and it will stay in the full zoom mode. So you can actually compare images to ensure that uh, you have focus. As you can see, I'm just rotating the, uh, the dial on the front there, okay? Okay, to delete an image, you're going to push the dis delete button and then it comes up with an option to delete the current frame. You can select multiple frames or you can delete all frames. So let's just say if we ask, let's just delete this frame first. So I'm going to highlight that, push the menu OK. It's going to ask me one more time to confirm and I get this little animation and it's deleted it. Then it goes to the next image and it asks you, do you want to delete this okay or not? Uh, best thing to do is push display back if you don't want to, to delete the image. If you're, always, if you're ever unsure about deleting images and you're in some sort of screen and you don't want anything to be damaged, just turn off the camera. That's the easiest way to get out of everything, okay? So turning back on the camera again, Let's show you the video. Quickly, there's a dedicated video button that can be configured to anything you like, but right now it's defaulted as video. You can push it down to start recording. It's full HD video. Shoots at 60 frames a second, as well as 50 frames, uh, 30 frames, 25 frames, 24 frames, so it's selectable. And also, you can change it from full HD video to, uh, of course, uh, lower resolutions like 720p. Zooming in, zooming out, depending on the lens you have, you can do that. You can also manually focus if you set the camera to the, to the manual focus mode prior to shooting. Uh, beyond that, uh, the cam does the autofocus at the moment, as you can see. Stopping the uh, video, you can push the uh, record button and it should stop. And then if we play back the, uh, um, the image or the video, you can see there's actually a, a film strip icon on the side. That, uh, multiple dots, it looks like a film strip means the video that you can play. You can pause it by pushing down. You can push again to play. You can hold it down and you can and it will just zoom faster as you can see. And you push down to start stop and start playing again. If you want to stop the video, you push up to stop the video. Uh, so that's just a really quick unboxing and, and, and kind of getting started for the very first time. I'm sure if you want to learn more about this camera, I do have some additional videos to teach you all the functionalities beyond just the uh, taking pictures right out of the camera experience. Okay, so uh, let's just take a look at some of those videos later on. So there you go. All you need now with this camera is an extra lens. If you don't already have an XF or XC lens, it's compatible with both. For more information about this product and other products, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FujiGuys. Until then, I'm Billy of the FujiGuys. Mm -hmm.